with Thanksgiving tomorrow, yep. Becky Crystal of the Washington Post recently asked readers if leftovers are more of a blessing or a curse. And while some people see Did leftovers as a curse, what? Okay. While some people see leftovers as just extra food, others think they're actually better than the main meal. You let that food and that seasoning that like marinate. savor marinate. So, ladies, are you team meal or team leftovers? Tisha? I usually cook for about 30 people. Ooh. You yeah, got you that so It's gonna be 32, because me and James come to your place. <laughs> this year, I'm not. Oh. This is the only year, this is the first time. But okay. usually, I cook, and I never get a chance to eat. So, for me, leftovers is the... Bonus. Yes. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, right. if your food is like seasoned really well, mm -hmm. yes. you can really get a taste of the seasoning the next, next day. day. Yes. Like the gravy, the, the turkey, yes. the ham, the collard greens. I hear you, I, and I agree with you. The flavoring is next level. But yo, think about when you make the food yourself yeah. or you order it like some other people do, <laughs> and you get that beautiful spread and you look at that shiny skin on the turkey, especially when it's fried and you're the first one to snap, crackle, pop into that <laughs> bird like that. Or you guys talk about the bond over like, oh my God, you're so excited about the mac and cheese and you look at that brown top. That first bite, there's nothing like the memory of that first bite with your family you're and everybody the together. You're yes. about the experience. Yeah, you you can't have okay. that. It's good, but you can't have that same memory when you're cracking open Tupperware bowls and yes, Ziploc I bags. I be thinking about it. No. I think I, it was good yesterday. It's no. good today. <laughs> <laughs> no, the problem I have is that most of the time, the places I go, you know, we don't have a lot of leftovers. And it, if it is leftovers, it's stuff you don't want. You know, like somebody potato salad with the raisins in it. It's oh. like, don't nobody <laughs> want that. So I have to eat my stuff oh my right God. then and there, okay? Right there. I wait, get... wait. Who are your friends you know, that put raisins. raisins in potato salad and they ain't your friends? <laughs> Don't call them out, Lock. I'm not gonna say nothing, Don't call but them out. they know who they are. Who, who are those? People do that? Yes. And sometimes they put um, marshmallows in it. What, what in the what, what, in what is that called, no, Ambrosia? Oh, in, in sweet potatoes, they put the marshmallows. That makes and sense. Then, that. that makes and sense. Then, That's and then the, good. But no, and some people, I mean, they, I was told, like, when I used to do potlucks at, you know, the job, right, and uh -huh. my, my, they used to always make potato salad, right? Uh -huh. And it was a lady named um, Amy, uh -huh. and she would always put, like, cranberries and raisins in the salad because she thought that that was sweeten it up. And I was like, girl, no, we don't do that, you know? And so one day I tried to take the salad and I was going, because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. You no, no I, I threw it out, right? Oh, no. And then I was like, see, look, everybody ate your <laughs> potato salad. And then she said, that's why I brought some more right here. I'm 